Hello everyone. Yesterday, my mom and I went to a really great estate sale. It's actually the last estate sale we're going to this year and we scored on some really good stuff. So I wanted to do a quick casual haul and show you everything we got. If you guys are new here, my mom and I have a booth at a local antique mall here in Long Beach, California called Magnolia and Willow and pretty much everything I'm going to be showing you is going to be for sale at least by the first week of January. We're going to try to get everything out over the next two weeks and um, if you want to give us a follow on Instagram, our shop Instagram is at make do and mend vintage and then the antique shop is Magnolia and Willow. All right, this is the bulk of the furniture and bigger pieces that we got. We got this really great rattan screen. I'm obsessed with this. One of these really cool elephant side tables. I keep seeing these on Instagram and I was so excited when we found this one. Kitty cat fish bowl. I've sold some of these before that were Siamese. I've never seen this pretty green color before. This white plant stand. I think we are going to paint this black. Um, I'm not sure, but we will definitely be painting it because it's a little chippy. This cool watering can. This rattan side table with this great glass top. This is one of my favorite things that we got. This really cool TV lamp with these parrots on it. A tiny little plant stand. And this is also one of my favorite pieces. It's this really cool outdoor table. I guess you could use it inside too and that would be really cute. Love the color and I love the pattern. And here is the bulk of the smalls we got. We got so much stuff. This is one of the very few items I'm going to be keeping for myself. This little kitten's prayer plate. So cute. This bride bingo and it has I think all of the pieces inside to play still. And all of these cute cat ornaments. We're going to get these in in the next day or so so that hopefully they can sell before Christmas. These cute polka dot noisemakers. It's really pretty angel chalkware. I really love this little bowl. So cute. This teapot key hook. A clear juicer and some really pretty brooches. I especially love this one. I think it's so unique and cool. I'm obsessed with this little jewelry casket with the little cherubs and it is a music box as well. There was a lot of really great vanity items in one of the rooms there, so I picked up this empty Chanel perfume bottle, this little jewelry holder, and I thought this was so cute. I love the color. It's just a little container that would look so cute on a vanity. This really great green napkin holder and this cute kitty light switch plate. We got this set of four pink glasses. They look a little more orange in the video, but they are more pink in person. A necklace holder, and I got this little beaded necklace that I thought was cute. This hand vase is McCoy. I was really on the fence about getting it because it was a little bit on the pricier side, but I'm glad I did because I looked it up after and these go for quite a bit. So I think this was a really good purchase. There was tons of these brass and glass display cases and we got this pair. They do come apart, but I think we'll be selling them as a set. I thought these little Joseph Original Girls were so adorable. I've never seen any that looked like this. I love the Morocco one. These little Asian figurines are salt and pepper shakers. Could not pass up this little Minnie Mouse. And of course these little Siamese. The lady that lived in this house had a cat obsession because there were so many cats in there. This little set of three, so cute. This little spice rack is kind of similar to the one I have in my kitchen. I think it's adorable and there's some vintage spices in there as well. This hat is pretty small, so if you have a small head, it will fit you. I wish I could keep it, it's so cute. We scored these Madonna Inn glasses. I have one of these from when I went to the Madonna Inn and I just love these so much. I want to collect these. This little turtle, but it's actually a clock. This set of three cows is a creamer and then salt and pepper shakers. 
this tiny little nativity set. We're gonna get this in the shop in the next couple days so that it can sell before Christmas. I thought this little frame was so pretty. You could change out the art inside, but honestly the birds are really pretty, so I'd probably keep that. A Tom and Jerry Welch's cup. Don't know what this was originally for, but it's a cute little Christmas paper container. This kitty cat clock, we couldn't get it to work, but if you wanted to get it to work, I'm sure you could take it to a repairman and get it fixed. But it's so cute just as decoration. These nutcracker sets always sell in our space, so when we saw these, we had to pick them up. Guess people still use them. This little shelf, I think this would be really cute in a bathroom. We're also going to be painting this along with that plant stand. So comment down below if you have any recommendations of colors that we should paint this. Got a couple purses. This black purse is a little bit damaged. It has some scuffs as you can see, but we're going to be selling this for a really affordable price in our booth. I just couldn't pass it up. I loved it. This Bakelite looking thing. I'm not sure if it is Bakelite, so I will test it before it goes in the booth. And this beautiful Whiting and Davis clutch. I have one of these, and it's just the perfect clutch for a special occasion. They're so pretty. This pillow reminded me of the show Dollface, something that would be in her house. Love it. It's so grandma chic. We got this leather western looking belt with metal accents. I couldn't pass up this little dish towel. It says, may all your weeds be wildflowers. And we got two of these really cool long and low brass and glass display cases. I've never seen any like these, but I think they're so cool. And we also got a few clothing items. This really long silk robe I think I'm gonna be keeping I've been really loving jackets with these kinds of patterns lately so pretty this really great floral dress I did just notice that it has a small tear right here so I might be keeping this for myself and last but not least this pink kimono it has a tear on the hem so that's very easy to fix all right that is everything we got yesterday like i said everything will be in our booth by the first week of january so just stay tuned and look at our instagram at make do and mend vintage as well as at magnolia and willow and photos and prices of all these things will start going up over the next few weeks this is going to be my last video before Christmas, so I wanted to wish you guys a very Merry Christmas, and I hope you guys have a really relaxing week. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys soon.